Paonian woman slow cooker six cards programmable slow cooker hi friends parents here in today's video i'm going to be unboxing Paonian woman slow cooker i'm gonna see what it contains to see how it looks like and how to use it i've been looking for a new slow cooker for my kitchen and i really don't know which one to choose so then we did a lot of research and then i found that this Paonian woman's six cord programmable slow cooker really works well i read a few reviews and so I decided to go with this. I've never had any cooking utensils or cooking essentials with this colorful or a lot of colors on them. This is the first time but I want to give it a try to see exactly how this works and if this is good. Also, I think it's going to give some color to my kitchen so <laughs> I'm going to do that. And then as you can see, this is the six cards, a programmable slow cooker. The model of this slow cooker is the sweet rose there and so I'm going to open this so we can all see what is in there what comes with it so we're just gonna open well this is what it looks like very very colorful <laughs> just gonna take this out There you can see, just gonna take this, put this down, and then take the cover. Alright, and then we're just gonna slide this out. Wow, cool. look at the little handle as well. Lovely. Now we're gonna take this out. Alright, so. This comes with a manual and then it just, it says the Pioneer Woman 6 Hot Slow Cooker. It will walk you through step by step how to use it and what to put in and what not to put in. So I think this is really good. And now let's take this out. Oh, so this is it. This is the actual slow cooker. Yeah, it's really neat. Look at it. Looks so clean. That's it how it comes in. And so this is the base to use. It does have some instructions on here and also how to use it, the actual features, how to operate the timer and everything here. Then also the cord, it has a handle. Actually, I like this. It has a nice handle. I don't know which one, but we'll figure that one out. And then it has a cord attached to it. And this is the bottom actually this is the bottom of it it says warmer i did bought this from walmart you can also find it on their website if you're interested in this i'll leave a link below the description of this video to take a look it's fairly cheap i bought mine like 30 dollars so this is not too expensive to spend it would depend on the i think the models and all that as well the prices can be differ from different places either maybe walmart or amazon or ebay the prices are going to be different so i'm going to leave a link for each one that you can see which one fits you best so that's what it looks like and now let's put this back in all right and let's put the cover on so let's see how this fits okay this has a little rubber around it that seals seal the edges once you put it on oh and then it tightens so when you are cooking nothing comes out also let's see how to put this and then this little handle here is something there is this little button here that push in and out Put this in to lock this in you have to push down on this and then push this in then it locks in so now it will not come out because once you do this it's sealed now you see one side is open the same thing let's do this side as well so you push this down and then you just push this in okay there we go well now it locks in well like i hear that click so now it's locked in so you can see if you try to take this off it will not because it's locked on both sides you cannot take it off which is really neat you have a party or going some family gathering and you cook a meal will not make a mess or anything like that in your car so i think i really like it and if you want to release it push down and then you hear that noise that came off 
copy same thing with press just push down on the other one which is this one push down and then it comes right out so that is really neat okay now let's see how to use this manual the timer and everything that comes with it so before you plug it in make sure you cut off this from it before you plug it in and then i'm just going to plug this in all right now that is plugging now we can see the light has turned on so this is the power button you have the low the high and then the warm now we haven't set up anything yet let's turn this on so that is the power and then the manual tells you how to operate it according to the operation to the manual the timer display now is off so now we turn it on so that is the power to turn it on now it's on low if you can see the little blue light it's low once you turn the power on you should see the hours here this is showing eight hours and then so we push this button to turn it on and then the timer you use this up and down timer to control it so that is 30 minutes so it's on low and then those here are the indications low high and warm then you use this to select which where you want it to be so we were on low now high select and then that takes it to warm you can go back and then takes you back to low you'll be able to select how high you want the meal to cook or how high you want to set it up and then this is the timer that controls the time you want to set it up so if it's on low you are going to push this to set up how many minutes you want it so this is going to be eight hours 30 minutes that's going to be nine hours 30 minutes each press add another 30 minutes to it so once we push this down it added 30 minutes so, we, so let's see how high we can go with this Oh, well you can go all the way to 20 hours of cooking i really don't know what you'll be cooking for 20 hours but let me know in the comment section below what you'll be cooking for 20 hours that is a low so if we select high and we can say this so that will be four hours 30 minutes let's see how high this can go okay so the high also goes 20 hours and then all of a sudden i realized the pot is hot the high on 20 hours i can feel the heat already on the pot so keep that in mind i think it gets hot if you have kids children around just keep that in mind that you will not leave this unattended when you are using it or when the kids are around yeah it's a little bit warm here it's not too warm but you can feel the heat especially at the back you feel it at the front but especially at the back I feel the heat more at the back than the front so just keep that in mind now let's select warm so let's see how high we can go with the warm so the warm has nothing the warm will not go any higher it will not go down either so maybe warm is warm and then all of a sudden it's cooling down as well so that is something because the warm will not let us do anything but when we go too high we can go high and we can go low also so how low can we go all the way to zero so that zero take you to warm it's just warm it's no heat so that's how you use it the manual has everything how to operate it before first use what to do before first use danger of suffocation and also gives you a little note so it's really good to read the manual to see how to use this and also it has diagrams showing you what to do what not to do i think there are some way you can use this you cannot put this in your microwave that is really here to tell you that cannot go into microwave right here so the diagram will help you also and i think the use is so simple setting it up is so simple you know you just follow selections what you want to use here in the manual it has a recipe in here too that you can use also it has hint and tips another hint and tips here that you can use it so for your first use you have some recipe you can try with this first time and then see how you can use it in everything it has the operational has the cooking settings that you can set up so it tells you the low how many hours you can do that when it's low you can set it up the default time is eight hours cooking time range is 30 minutes to 20 hours so 
okay i just showed you it goes 30 minutes to 20 hours and then the decrement is 30 minutes each so as we push this down select for every decrement is 30 minutes keep warm function is four hours the low is four hours the high is four hours the warm is zero so if you put it on high if you want just to put it on warm there's not going to be any hours it's just going to be zero also it gives you the temperature of it you are using the default settings low is eight hours 30 minutes uh, cooking time will be 30 minutes 20 hours the temperature is going to be 225 degrees fahrenheit when you put it on high on default it's going to be 324 that's why you can feel can feel the heat of it and also when you put it on warm warm is 156 degrees fahrenheit but you don't feel much it see any hours for if we go to select to warm zero we can't have anything but still it will be warm that doesn't mean that it won't get warm it will be warm but you just wouldn't see any minute or time to set it up so that's what it is and i hope this video helps you hello friends so i just walk you through the pioneer woman slow cooker we unbox it we see all the parts that comes with it and then i walk you through the setup process how to set it up and use it for the first time make sure you follow the manual it has step-by-step -step instructions on there for you how to use it and also the timer how to set select and how to go from low to high to warm and how to set everything up also keep in mind that when you go high it gets warm so quickly the outside of it especially the back towards where the plug is is very very hot and so keep in mind so that you will not leave your slow cooker unattended when you have kids around make sure that follow the manual for the first time use it has also some recipe instructions in here for your first try and the tip that i'll leave with you is make sure you wash your brand new cooking utensils that you buy or kitchen essentials that you might buy to use for cooking and all that make sure you wash it first before using it if you want to know how the keurig k mini plus looks like watch the next video subscribe to this channel so i can make more videos like this as always thank you for watching my name is florence at florencetracker.com and i'll see you on my next video take care bye